Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Motorhome in Fern, as you can see, we're out on our first walk with Sky this morning. As you know, we're down at Cheddar Caravan Motorhome Club site in Somerset, and it's also Good Friday today, guys. And it's been a thoroughly wet start to this little break over at Easter, and that has been raining all night again. It's literally just stopping now a little bit of drizzle in the air and that but um it's predicted to be windy and rainy again today so my plans are we we'll probably go have a look around the local reservoir and have a wander around that this morning and then this afternoon we'll have a little wander into cheddar itself and up to the bottom end of the gorge and that and saturday looks a lot drier so we intend to do the cliff top walk and that on Saturday so that's a little bit of the plans guys so as I say it's not the nicest morning so far but um, Sky needs a walk and um, yeah so we're, we're just going to go out and um, check the local scenery I don't know whether you can make it out through there guys but that is the Cheddar Bridge campsite you got the River Axe running alongside which is quite high and that but um that does look a lovely little private site in there so if anybody wants to come cheddar and doesn't want to give the caravan a motorhome club site their money i can thoroughly recommend Ch cheddar bridge right welcome back everybody as you can see we're out and about now had breakfast so we're nicely refreshed and we're going to head down to Cheddar Reservoir now. Have a lovely little walk there. I've got a feeling it's about two and a half, three miles all around. So I think it's about a round trip of about four and a half, five miles in total from the campsite. So we'll tell you that when we get back later, guys. But um, yeah, we're just heading back down the road we are coming on yesterday. And we'll take a little detour off to the left shortly and hit the reservoir and the wind has dropped nicely now and um, the rain has stopped we've got a little bit of blue sky there as well so um, and we've also got the drones with us this morning um, I think the weather has sufficiently or well, the wind has sufficiently dropped this morning to maybe get the Mavic 3 Classic up for quick flight so um, going to look forward to that then guys so we'll see you when we get to Cheddar right so we're just approaching Cheddar Reservoir this is like the car park entrance here you got the rugby club next to it as well so um, we're just literally just over a mile from the campsite to this point but it's a nice steady road and that there is path on the both sides to walk on so um you're not sort of dicing with death there so um yeah so we're gonna have a little leisurely walk around here as you may be picking up it looks glorious at the moment which i wasn't expecting that today but um let's make the most of it guys as i say it's a lovely walk this for your dogs and um also bring your bike around here if you wanted to. It's flat all the way around. It's basically a big circle. As I say, I've got a feeling it's about two and a half miles all the way around. So um, that'll take you probably about an hour at a steady speed. Probably take us a little bit longer. We get a few drone flights in today as well. This is the main car park. It does look free to park. I can't see any parking ticket machines. Welcome to Cheddar Reservoir. Please keep to the path. The watery side of the embankment is very uneven and slippy. Asked to keep dogs on leads. Anglers must have a permit. There we go, so we'll go anti-clockwise today.
There you go. You've got the hills in front of us. So we're doing the anti-clockwise loop today. You've got the rugby club over to the right. A little skateboard park as well. So we'll get around a little bit further and um, see if we can send the drone up. Right, we just had a little fly with the drone. It was rather windy up high. As I say, it's deceiving when you're on the ground, but um, when you're flying about 40, 50 meters up, it's, um, it was extremely windy and that, but um, we survived, the drone survived. We got it back down and um, if we only get one flight over this Easter period, I'm happy, so. We'll continue the walk around. We're coming up to the sailing club shortly. Can't see much wildlife on the reservoir, but um, I'm sure there is somewhere. I believe on the route around you can divert off in various places. There's some little villages on the perimeter, I think one is the little village of Axbridge, which is a quite an ancient village, they say. But um, I'm not too sure how far it is, and um, well, um, we might look into that, guys, and that so uh, um, it might make the walk a little bit longer. Once we get past the sailing club. There's a few people with the dogs off the lead, so um, we might give Sky a go. So um, I don't think there'll be any wardens around here who are going to complain. And um, as I say, there's no wildlife visible, ducks, geese, swans or anything. So, so that is the way we just come from. We're not gone too far at the moment. As I say, we, we did get the drone up, but... Um, it's a lovely morning to be out. I'm going to say a little bit breezy, but it's it's dry and bright at the moment. So different to yesterday's rain. Yesterday afternoon, once we got here, it was torrential rain and thunderstorms and lightning till about six o'clock at night, and then we had it again during the night as well. Right, so we let Sky off now. And you can see the other lady in front. She's got hers off as well. So um, wrong or right, we're doing it. So as I say, this is the sailing club coming up. I'm not too sure what it's called, whether it's Cheddar, Axbridge, Nobody out on the boats today, I'm surprised, being a bank holiday, you thought people would take the opportunity, but um, no.
Right guys, just to let you know, we're not filming in 4K today. We're only filming in 1080 HD, mainly because the internet signal is not brilliant for uploading. So um, we're trying to get these uploaded while we're here for you to enjoy. So um, that is the reason we're only filming in the slightly lower quality, but I don't think you'll notice it guys. Most people watch on phones or iPads nowadays. Right, I've just put Sky back on the lead. The lady in front, with that Frenchy dog, that um, just attacked another dog. It did very viciously, so um, the man wasn't too pleased with that. So, um, so we'll we'll keep Sky on the lead for a moment, and that certainly let that Frenchy go a long way in front. Right, I believe that is the village of Axbridge to my right. Um, let's see if there's a little pathway down there and see if we can take a little wander through into there. Right, there seems to be people walking up from that direction, so um, maybe we'll give it a go. Right, we'll have a bit of a wander down here. More parking areas as well, down the bottom. Right, so I'm not exactly sure what we're going to see here, but um, it's worth a little detour. No, stay this way. So we'll just take a wander along the road. As I say, I'm not too sure what to expect to see, but um, there might even be a, a village pub or something I can point out to you on this walk, and it might be somewhere you'd want to go for lunch if you walk in the reservoir. Right, found nothing of interest yet in the village we'll keep going for a, another five minutes guys and then we'll come back on the south looks like there's a few clouds bubbling in the sky at the moment so um yeah i think we might get wet at some point we've got a, a light mac on probably as you've seen but um not full waterproof gear so um we'll keep going right we might be coming into the heart of the village now. I did see a church to the right hand side a minute ago. So we just come down here and then we'll go back to the reservoir. I don't think we can pick up the reservoir from this end of the village looking at Google Maps. some sort of pub in front. I can see some tables and umbrellas out there. Ah, it looks like we've got a medieval, don't know what they call it, a charter house. Ah, so it looks like it might have been worth the, the extra walk along here. It's probably took us another 15 minutes. See, you got post office. It's almost like a little market square, this. They did say something about a medieval look to it, and um, they're probably right. So, um, yeah, just spin you around, and we'll show you the church at the top end. You've got the oak house, public house as well. You've got a tea shop there, built in 1450. Not 
you feel what this shop is. It's the pharmacy. Right. As I say, beautiful little village this. See, this is what you get when you come off the beaten track. Small little co-op. As I say, you got a lamb in in front of us. And this is the Axbridge Museum. It is open today from 1 pm. As I say, stunning old building. Look at that, guys. Just a little look up here, just in case we're not missing nothing, but um, how about that, another pretty building, Axbridge Drugstores. Alright, I think we're going to turn around now, have a wander up by the church. Beautiful. Ripley antiques and vintage hair salon. That's with chambers. I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't a bank in its days. And there's the oak house. Pub. Town Hall across there as well. And this is a stunning Axbridge Church, St John the Baptist. Right, we'll go up for a little wander. Let's see if we can get the drone up. Simply beautiful. We'll just have a wander through the church grounds. These are some of the graves. Well, that hasn't gone well, guys. Try to film the church with the drone and I missed the tree well, I hit the tree guys I should say so somewhere up there not a chance of getting it down my only hope is if it blows down it's got my name and address on it I get it back that way guys but um, 
one Mini 3 Pro drone lost. Right, so we're heading back to the reservoir now. As you can see, it's turned progressively wet now and horrible, so we've got about a three mile walk now back in this rain. As I say, we've lost the drone now, and that my own stupid fault. I didn't check the height of the trees around me, and that, so um, the only good thing I can say is that was one of my older drones the mini 3 pro so but um it still sort of took the edge off this morning now as i say the only hope of getting it back if we do get a strong wind or something it might blow down and um one of the local residents might pick it up there is a code on there scan with my telephone number and everything and um obviously i'd pay them to post it back and then obviously go to DJI for repair so not a good morning so far right welcome back guys just had the most horrendous downpour and we're in the middle of nowhere and we have got soaked through to the skin and that guy so we're wandering back around the reservoir now you can probably tell by these huge puddles which have formed now around here trying to avoid those but um we're already wet enough as i say oh it's just been one of those mornings what with the drone now the weather it was so good when we set out lovely sunshine we got the first drone flight in and as i say my stupid fault I didn't check the height of the trees around the church I started off from a low position and um, we're doing a circle and um, lo and behold we hit the tree but um, to be honest I couldn't even see it in the tree when I looked up and that but um, hey ho it's lost now We have got the the bigger drone with us, but um, we are a bit more restricted to where we can fly that. But um, I think that's just took the edge off things. But um, at least it stopped raining. Now, hopefully, as you see, sky's soaking wet as well. We're just taking a wander back now. But um, we did show you Axbridge and how beautiful that was you can probably see look the sun is shining on it now and there's a church there the fated church as i say all i can hope is that um somebody finds the drone and um i get it back that way We've got some more rain heading our way as well. Seriously, big black cloud in front. So um, I think we're going to get a bit of a sprint on, guys. So um, we'll just keep filming odd bits as we go. As I say, it's it's literally just this we're walking around and a bit of countryside to the right. Right guys, sorry I haven't been filming much the last 10 minutes, but as you can see the weather just closed in on us. It's been abysmal. We're soaked to the skin. Can't wait to get back in that motorhome. Get some dry clothes and the heating on. Looks bright over there, but um, there are hailstones, you name it. We've had it this last 30 minutes or so, but um, we're heading back, we've still probably got about a mile of this reservoir to go and then the walk to the motorhome. Well initially I thought we'd get a nice walk in this morning, dry walk. 
It certainly come in quicker than what my phone said. My phone was saying about half past 10, 11 o'clock this morning. We might get some rain and um, windy conditions again. But um, no, it didn't. But, um, never mind the joys of walking. I think we're going to get a lot more soon as well, but um, we can't get any wetter. Have to dry sky off when we get back in. Right, I think we've had four seasons in one day today looking bright over Axbridge way so we're almost at the end of this walk around the reservoir directly in front just where you see a little slight gap, that is Cheddar Gorge. I think we're going to have to put the old walking boots on to go there tomorrow with all this rain. There'll be a lot of muddy areas and that. Well, that's, hope, that's if we do it, guys. If the weather doesn't turn bad on us again. Right, we're just about at the end of this walk around at the moment, up to this point guys, we've done exactly five miles and that was with the walk into Axbridge, so we're just over a mile back to the motorhome, it's been a lovely, if not testing, six mile walk this morning. Anyway guys, we'll wander back through the village and we'll do a conclusion to this nearer the end. Right, I think we'll do a quick conclusion to this vlog guys. Thanks again for watching. I know it didn't go quite to plan for me guys, but I um, hope you enjoyed the footage anyway and that guys. So um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one guys. Um, we won't do no drone flying in that situation again and that guys i think i've learnt my lesson there so um on to the next one and on to the next flight guys so um thanks again and we'll see you soon bye for now all right as you can see we've made it back excuse me drop my hanky all right never been so glad to get back in the motorhome i don't think so Right, that's it guys, and we'll see you again.